In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to start your own profitable Amazon FBA business. And just a word of warning before we get into this video, there's not gonna be you know, valuable nuggets that's gonna to lead to a course or a program at the end. In fact, there's no course whatsoever. I'm not a guru and I'm not trying to get money from you guys. What you will get in this video is how to start your own FBA business step by step from scratch, even if you're a complete beginner. And I'm not gonna waste your time by making you watch a two or three hour video. I really try to condense this video as much as possible while still retaining all the key information that you're gonna need to make your business successful. This business model has to be one of the most hands-off business models I have ever seen and something that you can make between $300 to $500 a day in profit not sales, profit, that's important. Because I know you guys are probably tired of people saying they make $1,000 a day, $2,000 a day, and they never really show you how much they actually get to take home. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking it into five easy to follow, easy to understand steps. Number one, what is Amazon FBA and why you should start it? Two, how to find unique profitable products that keep selling, three, finding supplies to provide those products and getting samples for quality control testing. Four, breaking down the international shipping and getting your product to Amazon itself. And five, creating an attractive listing to get customers to actually come and buy your product. Now, if this sounds good to you and you are truly excited about starting a side hustle and making passive income, I need you to do three things for me. Three things to show that you are genuinely serious about making money online. The first is to mute your phone or turn it off, turn off all other distractions for the next 15 to 20 or 25 minutes, depending on how long this video takes, and take notes. Make sure you take notes step by step, way through. Watch this video once, twice, whatever you need to fully understand and completely focus on everything I talk about in this video. The second thing is to watch this video all the way through. I know from my analytics that you guys only usually stay around three to four minutes of my actual videos. But if you're truly serious about making this a form of passive income or that you just want to get something started up, make sure you watch this video all the way through. I cannot tell you how many horror stories I have heard just because someone didn't take in the full amount of information that they needed to make this business successful. And it's ended up costing them thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So please just make sure you watch this video all the way through so that you fully know what you're getting into. At the end of the day, I just wanna make sure you guys have every single chance to be successful with this business model. And because I'm not selling you any kind of service or course or program or anything like that, this is literally gonna be free for you guys. The only little thing I ask for you is to take a second right now and smash that like button just to help out with the YouTube algorithm so that this video can be pushed to a greater audience so that it might help someone else too. And contrary to some of the bots that comment on your comments yes if you've seen them saying hey if you need help reply to this whatsapp number please ignore them they're just bots it's not me it's happening on everyone's youtube videos right now i will never ever sell you a service or product and again make sure you are subscribed to see more videos on drop shipping personal finance investing and so much more and i just want to preface if you're still struggling with this afterwards i get you i understand where you're coming from make sure to comment down below amazon fba as well as obviously liking this video and subscribing and i will choose one of you guys at random to help start the very own amazon fba business literally hold your hand and walk you step by step so again make sure you comment down below amazon fba and like this video and be subscribed for a chance to win that all right, guys, if you made it this far through the video, let's get into it. I can see that you're serious about making some money online and you're interested in learning how to start your own Amazon FBA business. So what is Amazon FBA? Well, Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. This business model is essentially a split business between you and Amazon. I know that sounds kind of strange, but it really means that you source their product, you brand it and list it, then they take over by sorting your products in their inventory. And when someone purchases it, they package it and send it directly to the customer and even handle the customer service as well. All they ask for is a small percentage of the profit, which we will get later into the video. In your case, and which I suggest everyone to strongly look into, is something called private labeling. 
This just basically means you take a generic product, a product that you think will sell, and you basically put your own brand on it. You put your own private label on that product. This involves talking to the distributor and saying, hey, I want this product in this color, shape and design, etc. Something that would distinguish it from the regular generic look. You have to remember almost all the sales that you will see on Amazon are private labelers. That's why it's so successful and it has been tried and tested. And that's why I suggest you guys follow the same method as well. The great thing about this method is that you can truly build your own brand, something that you can be proud of, something that will be sustainable for years to come. And the great thing is, even if you don't want it to stay for years to come, you can actually build up, a, in a sense, an equity in the business and sell it later on down the road if you choose to do so. Number two, product research. So let's take an example. One of the biggest products that were private label years ago were yoga mats. As you can see, there are endless yoga mats on here, all similar to each other. They all just have different colors, you know, different brands or private labels, sizes and colors, and even bundle or package deals. Amazon is literally the biggest e-commerce selling search engine platform out there. And this product doesn't even come close to scratching the surface of what they sell. So you need to have a quality listing and a unique edge to stand out and use various techniques to land your product on the first page, which we'll talk a little bit about later on creating your listing. The tool that almost every private labeler uses and generally everyone that sells on Amazon is a program called Jungle Scout. I'm not sponsored by them and they're not paying me any money to leave them some sort of review. I do have an affiliate link, which will save you up to about 30%. So it's worth checking that out and go through my link. I get a little kickback for helping you guys out as well. So as a brand new seller, it can be challenging to compete with existing sellers. This is why the number of reviews that you have on your product becomes massively important. So in this case, if you cannot get similar levels of reviews as these products here, it's going to be hard to compete with them. So what do we do? We want to find products that have about 50 reviews just so that we can accumulate that number pretty fast to compete with them. We also want to look and make sure these products are obviously getting sales and making sure that these products are selling for at least $15. So why do I say $15? It's just because any less than that, your margins start to become very, very small and extremely hard to make money on, especially after the Amazon fees. So let's get a bit more technical and jump into Jungle Scout for a second. So you can see there's a much greater detail view and this is why the app is so great. Specifically, I wanna focus on what you can see here and that's called the Opportunity Finder. This is exactly what you think. It helps you find profitable products that will sell. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Since we are just looking at yoga mats, let's go ahead and click on Sport and Outdoors. I'm going to reduce the competition meter as well, as well as the niche meter. This just means I will be more competitive and more likely to find a product that will actually be seen by potential buyers. If you have an idea of a product, it is most likely not niche enough. You need to find a unique product that isn't, you know, completely out there or insane. Spend a good few days, I would suggest doing your own research. Make a list of pros and cons, do your own research on the niche itself. Itself. You want to make sure again that this is a unique product, but not too unique. So someone actually can find that product and buy it. I like to make my own spreadsheet. You can just go and Google, you know, sheets or whatever and make a bit of a criteria search and log that down just so that you can compare potential products for the pros and cons. Number three, finding a supplier. Now, once you've found a few products that you think could do well, we're going to go over to Alibaba.com. If you haven't heard of Alibaba, it's a massive wholesale website from international um, wholesalers from places like China that allow you to buy products really, really cheap and source them pretty easily. In this case, we're gonna go along with what we've been looking at. So we're gonna go search for yoga mats. Now, just take a moment to scan through the products. You'll see a lot that look very similar here. What you need to do is keep an eye out on the seller itself. Now, this is really, really important because this can make and break your relationship and your ties with the product itself. There's nothing worse than having a distribution problem, especially when your product is already doing well on Amazon. So there's a few key indicators that 
gives away whether or not a seller is truly reliable. Remember, this is your business, so there's no point of going with someone who's pretty unknown just to save a couple of bucks, a couple of cents. It's not worth it, I promise you. I always look out for the country, the length of the selling, um, if they have trade insurance, which is really important, you know, this is usually non-negotiable. And generally, you want to look at how many transactions they're doing, as well as the reviews for the seller itself. Once you find a product that you like and it meets the criteria of a reliable and a reputable seller, we're going to hit contact supplier. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go over a brief overview of what you should ask for. The first thing you need to ask for is a unit price. How much does the product cost per unit almost always they will sell it in a certain amount of bulk so you need to figure out what the minimum order quantity of the item is well whether it's a thousand units two thousand units you know whatever it is and you need to also ask if there is a bulk discount a lot of the time you might order 500 units but you can order a thousand units and get maybe you know a two or five percent discount you need to ask for what the delivery time is. Almost always, it's gonna be a few weeks depending on the delivery service. Just make sure you have that and double check that because you don't wanna end up having to wait two to three months and that's gonna mess up your distribution channel. The next thing you wanna do is ask for a sample. If there are any good seller there willing to sell you a sample, most of the time you just have to pay for shipping or something like that, but that's fine. Make sure you ask for a sample so that you can test for the quality of the item. This is so, so important. I cannot stress this enough. Off. Now, once you're done finding a product that you're happy with and you're happy with the terms of the supplier as well, you're going to want to set up your own Amazon account and get ready to ship your products to Amazon itself. The first thing you'll want to do is create an Amazon account. So straightforward. You can literally just type in open up an Amazon seller account. It's so straightforward. Now, the thing you have to know is there's two different forms of selling. There's a basic and a professional service. For this, you're going to want to sign up for the professional service because, of course, you're starting a professional business. It does cost $39.99, but that's part of the business and you can just write it off in your taxes as an expense. Now, when it comes to actually shipping your product to Amazon, there's two main methods that we'll use. One is by ocean shipping and the other is by air shipping. So in other words, by plane. Air shipping will be the method for the majority of you guys out there. And that's good for a couple of reasons. The first is obviously it's quicker than having it, you know, shipped over by freight. The second is a lot less, you know, hassle to deal with. There's so many intricacies when it comes to shipping by freight that you don't have to deal with when you ship it by flight. This is generally good for products that are small in size or lighter, just because it is more expensive form of transport. The second is shipping by sea. Just just as the name suggests, it's sending products by sea. Now, this is the only really option you wanna go if you have heavy products or products that are just big in size in general. Otherwise, there's no real benefit other than it's gonna be cheaper for you. Once you decide on your form of transport, you can then order your products directly to Amazon's warehouse. The fifth and final step is creating an attractive listing that would draw buyers in so they actually wanna buy products from you. For this step, I'm actually gonna take you through a few listings just to do like, I guess, a mini case study and compare two listings, one that I think is really good and one that is not good and quite frankly is pretty awful, but it works well in this example just so that you guys can get a better idea of what we're going to do and what we're gonna look for in a listing. This all boils down to consumer psychology and really it's not that hard. It's just pretty much what you would look for when you buy an item from Amazon. So here is two different products. You can see one that looks really, really good and one that just kind of looks pretty awful. The first thing that you can notice straight away probably is the picture. The first one is a great picture. You know, there's a few things they've done. You can see that there's a white background, so it looks professional. The second is that you can see they put the different colors just to show just to show that you know it's customizable you can get different colors if you choose to do so which gives the customer uh, a great deal of flexibility the second you can see that the picture is not even formatted correctly you know it's cut off at the side so it just doesn't look professional again with that there's nothing that really entices the buyer in yes it's got I guess a plain black background, but you can't see that there's different combinations. There's no package deal or anything like that that's included. 
Other things you'd probably want to add is maybe to show that it comes with a free bag or a carrier or something like that, just to give that buyer thinking that they're going to get more with their purchase. <laughs> the next thing we're going to look at is the bullet point description. This is the really, really condensed description as soon as you click on the product. Now, what makes a good bullet point description as opposed to, I guess, a bad one? The first thing we're going to look for is exactly that is if it's broken down into easy to read bullet points, you know, you can see that capitalizations maybe with a title and a little thing explaining each bullet point works really, really well so that the seller can read straight away what you're getting with the product now in a bad one you're almost likely will see maybe sparing errors or grammatical errors or in this case something that just doesn't really make sense and doesn't sound professional when you read it maybe a lot of times you have a lot of jargon in it or it might be just too much information all at once that you don't want to read now when we look at the actual product description when we scroll down at the item you can see that a lot of professional products will actually have pictures in there maybe diagrams and things like that infographics you won't have that straight away but you will be able to have a text description now this is still possible to make that look really really professional that's no problem just make sure that it looks good that you, there's substantial information that explains the product as and draws that the buyer in so that they'd actually want to buy from you the most important part is obviously the review section. This will make or break whether or not a buyer will buy a product. I don't know about you guys, but if you see one product that has 200 five-star reviews or a product that has no reviews at all, you're almost 99% of the time, you're gonna buy that from that product that has, you know, five stars of 200, 300, 400, even a thousand reviews every single time. Why is that? Because it builds confidence in the buyer. You want to know, is this product going to be good? Well, if these thousand people say it's going to be good, it's most likely going to be good for me as well. So how do we get reviews? We have to set systems in place, such as auto-generated emails. You can have emails that go out to the buyer about three to five days, whatever you choose, asking to leave a review. Now you can do this in exchange for a discount, maybe a coupon code, something like 25% off your products, or even a free you know, unit of the product itself if they leave a review. Remember, this is your business and anything you can do to get those reviews up, you should do at the start. So in conclusion, what is the secret winning formula? It really just boils down to a few things. How serious you take the business, how much time you put in, and really just your initial financial investment. Remember, if it was easy to do, every single person down the street or at your local Walmart would be six-figure Amazon sellers. You know, it's not for everyone and it's going to take time and effort. I want to stress as much as I can that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. If you find out that Guru is telling you, hey, you can make $100,000 your first month, $10,000 your first month, almost always that isn't true. This is going to take your time, this is going to take your effort, but it's going to be worth it. I cannot stress how much of a hands-off business model this becomes once you have a product that sells well. Really, you can manage the business with about an hour to two hours per week. And if that, if you hire virtual assistants to really outsource it to the max. This is why this business is so great, especially if you're employed full-time and you don't have much of that time to spare within the day. This can be a perfect model. Remember, Amazon is literally the biggest e-commerce platform there is. There is no better hands-off passive income business model that I know of out there right now. And I know this might have been a bit too much information. You might miss it up. Again, guys, like I said, make sure you watch through this whole entire video. Take notes, watch it two or three times if you need it to sink in. And again, if you want to see any more in-depth videos, for example, more about I might do case studies on product research or listen to anything like that. If you want to see a more detailed video, just let me know in the comments down below. I answer almost all your comments to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. And if you guys are still a bit lost, if you don't understand one of these steps, I understand, I hear you. Make sure to comment down below Amazon FBA and like and subscribe just to get in with that chance where I can help you on one-to-one -one in a mentorship deal free of charge, get you started with your Amazon FBA business today. And that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.